Liberal brat flipped off Trump's motorcade, gets worse news of her life days later. A liberal woman got her 15 minutes of fame after a photo of her riding her bike while flipping off President Donald Trump's motorcade was captured and eventually posted to social media, where it garnered a lot of attention. Although she was proud of her disrespectful act, not everyone agreed. In fact, she is not laughing anymore after what happened to her days later. Julie Briskman, an employee at Acoma LLC, which is a well-known government contractor, was riding her bike in Virginia when she realized that President Donald Trump's motorcade was passing her. Instead of minding her own business or even offering her president some respect, she decided to figuratively slap him in the face with one disrespectful gesture as she flipped him off. He was just passing by and my blood just started to boil. I'm thinking, DACA recipients are getting kicked out, Julie explained, according to Mediate. He pulled ads for open enrollment in Obamacare. Only one third of Puerto Rico has power. I'm thinking he's at the damn golf course again. I flipped off the motorcade a number of times, she admitted. In fact, she also admits that the only thing that went through her head was, really? You're golfing again? As she clearly ignored the fact that Trump's predecessor frequently went golfing. Of course, the liberal brat thought her bold move was brilliant and she even decided to take matters one step further by making the viral flipping off the President of the United States photo her Facebook profile picture. However, her gloating was ultimately the beginning of her demise, and as a result, she is no longer laughing. As an employee of a well-known government contractor, there is one specific thing she seemed to have forgotten that she's supposed to abide by, namely, she's supposed to remain bipartisan. Of course, as a result of her own failure to abide by company rules, she was fired. They said, we are separating from you, Julie recalled, according to Newser. Basically, you cannot have lewd or obscene things in your social media. So, they were calling flipping him off obscene. Although she thinks it's ridiculous that she's been fired over her disrespectful act, it's not exactly the act that has gotten her in hot water. In fact, it was the fact that she paraded it around on social media for all the world to see. It's only logical for a common LLC to fire her, considering the picture itself would definitely affect the company's image and standing with the government if they had simply let it go. Heck, had she not publicly announced that it was her in the picture, she'd more than likely still have a job, as it's likely no one would have realized it was her in the photo in the first place. As expected commenters on social media were relieved that she lost her job. One user said, I'd fire her. If someone you are flipping off is a potential customer do you want your employees to be making lewd gestures toward them? Just not very smart. Just don't do it. Another added, yes. I am sick of the disrespect. Furthermore. Stand by your actions. What did you expect? You got what you deserved. Go President Trump. Let this be a lesson for anyone else willing to disrespect not only the President of the United States but also their employer by behaving childishly. Don't bite the hand that feeds you. Of course, if you feel like you absolutely need to take a stand, know that for every action there is a reaction. However, maybe these liberals could just do what most of the country does and show some respect for a change. It wouldn't hurt brats like this to accept reality and focus their tantrums on doing something that matters. There's nothing to be gained by giving the President of the United States the finger, but there's plenty to be lost, like your job. Make sure you are ready to face the consequences of your actions before you attempt to go full social justice warrior on the rest of the world. The good news? She has so much more time for bike rides now after it looks like she's really the one that got the middle finger. Billy. Billy.